uh, just to get this out of the way, yes, I posted a video like this last night, but it was up for maybe 10 minutes before I realized that the video timeline for that video was horrendously ruined as it was being rendered. So some clips would go on for twice what they were supposed to go on for, while other clips began and ended at completely different timestamps than what I assigned. So overall, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, on with the video. Hello, I'm Blue Steel. welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got maybe two things to cover in this video, so without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Please, please just hear me out, please. So, uh, Disrupt TV, pretty big channel. Right now, they're sitting at around 1.41 million subscribers, and they make really, really good videos, in my opinion. Uh, their video on Lulzsec is especially great, in my opinion. But uh, recently, they came under fire for who I believe is the current owner making a video where he said that he was going to sell stocks for Disrupt TV. Now, uh, regrettably, uh, the video stating this was uh, privated uh, recently, but here is what I can gather from what people have been saying about it. So, for 100 US dollars, uh, you get 23 shares of the Disrupt Corporation, and uh, the sale of these stocks will only end when half a million US dollars have been reached. Now, in a document that was uh, released around this time, uh, it was revealed that Disrupt was in debt, actually. And would you care to guess how much their debt was? Uh, let me pull it up here. 466,179 US dollars and 87 cent. So, by buying shares in them, you weren't helping fund shows, movies, and VR experiences as they claimed. Rather, you were helping them get out of debt. Now, me personally, I never really had time to really enjoy Disrupt's content, but the stuff that I saw that they made was actually pretty good. As I said earlier, their video on LulzSec was just amazing. So really, it kind of saddens me to see them go down this route. Then again, hey, what can you really do? Now, uh, Doorstock, classic video that is iconic within the uh, Counter-Strike community. And uh, this video has been up since September 2007, so nearly 15 years with no issues. And uh, that was true until maybe three days ago where it got a fucking copyright claim. The song that got the video copyright claimed was Stone Door by Bob Tick. Uh, I haven't heard of this song ever, and I doubt you have, so uh, if YouTube will allow me, let me play you an excerpt from this song. The Phantom, exterior like fish eggs, interior like suicide wrist rags, I could exercise you, this could be your phys ed, cheat on your man homie, ah, I tried to sneak through the door man, can't make it, can't make it, the shit's stuck, out of my way son, door stuck, door stuck, please. I'm not you! We're dead! You're a sh sh genuine dick sucker! <laughs> yeah, I'm angry. Now, setting aside the absolutely lovely Microsoft Paint album cover, how is something like this allowed on YouTube in current year? It, it, it feels like once every couple months, someone is abusing YouTube's copyright system for entirely malicious purposes. I mean, it, it has not even been six months, six months since Quantum TV versus The Ackman, that whole drama. It has not been half a year since that, and here we are again with someone abusing YouTube's terms of service for their own gain. It is nothing more than a disgrace that YouTube keeps letting this shit happen, and I cannot see this being forgotten anytime soon by anyone who's paying attention to what's going on on YouTube right now. And uh, that's really it for this video. 
kind of a downer ending but uh, if you like this and you're new around here you probably know what to do so uh, yeah see you next time whenever that may be Thank <laughs> you.